Welcome back to the Chan Chan. I hope you're having a great day. I just woke up, you know, as you do in your shower. The first time I did that, I did it the other way, and I hit my head on that thing, and it really hurt. So now we're just gonna move through the pain, we're gonna keep grinding, we're gonna keep doing what we always do, which is make good content. Today, I'm going to be doing a video off of how to survive off things only found in your bathroom. My friend Emma gave me this idea, and when I heard this, I was like, nothing is better than this. There has not been a single video on YouTube that could beat this idea. As someone that spends 99% of their time in the bathroom, I feel I am the most trained healthy with this video. To the untrained eye, a bathroom might look like you can't survive in this, but to me, I see a realm of possibility. After sleeping in the shower, it's going to be possible that you will have a couple bad hair days, and that's where the shower cap comes in handy. You're just gonna take your hair, ooh, like this, mm -hmm. find an old ponytail that you left in the shower, put it up, see, now you have this really cute bun, and take your new fashionable hair cap and protect you from all bad hair days. The next thing that is vital to your survival is food. Food is all around us in the bathroom, but we might not know it. You see, something that usually smells like food is food. It's a good tip to learn. If it smells good, eat it. That's why you can eat this candle. It's packed to the brim with calcium, protein, and many other nutrients. Yum. Or this shampoo. It smells like grapefruit, meaning you're going to have a wonderful fruity Sunday morning. It also has oranges in it. Yum. And you can clean yourself with it, but why would you? Because you'd be wasting your food source, and a food source could run out quite easily in the bathroom. So you need to make sure that you preserve the food wisely. Because technically, if the bathroom's at home, it's a public area for the whole family to enjoy or use, but I don't think that should be a thing. So, you should always be equipped with razors to protect yourself from any intruders. Take this box, for example, that I'm having a very hard time getting razors out of, which is good. You should always make sure that your weapons are secure. Make sure you always have a razor. You could use the end to poke someone if they try to intrude on your home. Um, you could go like this, you could throw it at them. You could, you know, you could sometimes use the plastic and like throw it at them too. It's just a really good thing to use to protect yourself. Make sure that your house is always protected. So leave razors face up on the floor outside your door. So if someone comes in, they know that you have already been there and that you are securing your home. It's far better than an alarm, so just lay razors around your floor. The beautiful thing about a bathroom is that it has a great water source. You see, at any given moment, you can just go bop, 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 and take it in your hand, and now you're refreshed for the whole day. Sometimes the fluorescent lights from the bathroom could be very harsh on my skin. So I always make sure to cover myself in lidocaine every morning, every night, and every afternoon. Some people might say it's a bit much to cover yourself with that much lidocaine, but I don't think so. Why can't I open this? You know, it's fine. It's you could either sleep in the shower or sleep on a pad. It's just as comfortable and it covers your whole head. See? Wow. So nice and comfortable. Right? Wow. If you're one of those people that need to sleep on two pillows, simply layer your pad. Mm. Wow. I could fall asleep so easily like this, and I often do. Mm. I love this. Some people think that shower caps could only be used to do like, damage control and cover up bad hair. 
but it also can be used for a nice bread. I mean, it looks exactly like it. If you saw me walking down the street, you would most likely ask for my information to become a model. After someone asks for your information because you just look so trendy, you're going to become a millionaire and a model, and you'll finally have enough money to move out of the bathroom. Okay, I hope you guys liked that video. Make sure to subscribe, like, comment, share, put post notifications on to support the channel. I'm almost at 100 subscribers, so tell me what I should do once I get to 100 subs. Bye!